All right, so let's take a look at the problem of multiplication using a concrete representation. So for example, let's say I want to do the multiplication problem 4 times 235 base 6. And so if we go to our basic definition of what multiplication is, then 4 235 base 6 is, well, that's really 4 235 base 6 is added together or combined. So what I can do, since we're working base 6, we'll go ahead and set down our place value chart. Again, the actual shape and appearance of the units doesn't matter. The only thing that's really relevant, smallest, next larger, 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 and so on. I'll put in four places here, but maybe we need more. We don't know how many we're going to need in advance, and we can always add columns to the left if necessary. Now I need four of these 235 base sixes, so I'll use our abstract symbols. Well, actually, let's go ahead and try to do this using a concrete representation. That's two of these things, three of these things, five of these things. So that is what our number, our concrete representation of 2, 3, 5, base 6 looks like. There's one of them, and I want four of them. So I'll have 1 and 2, 3, 4. So there's my second, third, and fourth of my 2, 3, 5, base 6s. And there's our product, although it's not in the form that we can write down as a final answer. But since we're working base 6, what that means is I can take 6 of anything and bundle it as 1 of the next thing up. So, so let's take a look for that. So I'm going to look for here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I'll find those sets of 6, and for convenience I'll color code them. So here's a green set of 6, here's a whatever color it is, blue set of 6, here's a red set of 6, and they're sets of 6, and I'll bundle them. And again, they don't really belong in this column because they're not the right type, so I'll slide them over to the next column. And again, I'll look for a set of six, and I'll look for my sets of six. I'll bundle them. So there's a couple of sets of six that I can find. I'll bundle them together as a single thing, and again, slide them over to the correct location. And again, I'll look for a set of six. So here's a set of one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a set of six. I'll bundle it together to form a larger thing. And again, slide that over into the correct place. And here is what I have. I have no more sets of six that I can find. So at this point, I'm done. And it remains to write this into my abstract symbols. And so I'll note that when I do that, I'm just recording how many of each of these things I have. So there's one of these, one, two, three, four of these, one, two, three, three of these, and two of these. So I'll write those down using my abstract symbols. And there's my final answer, one, four, three, two, base six.